guys? I hope you're having an excellent day. And welcome to another episode of Drive Time. Uh, I don't know how it's became a segment, but for some reason I always talk about the weather and I have to be pretty happy with the way it feels outside today. No jacket. It's about 70 degrees and it was feeling like summer whenever I got in the truck because I guess the sun's been beaming in it all day so it was real warm and the, the sky is mostly clear so that's a good sign for what we might see this weekend. I also found out that it sounds like the rain is supposed to come later in the evening on Saturday so maybe that means we'll be able to get out of the house and get some good content filmed for you and get some other stuff up on the blog. Anyways, I'm having a pretty good day. It is church day, so that always makes me pretty happy. Um, I've been in training all day and had a little bit of a headache yesterday, so I was worried I might have a headache today and not be able to make it, but so far, so good. Uh, we just can't talk about it too much, and then we should be good. Anyways, I want to talk about something that is probably a tougher subject than we've talked about in one of these videos before, but it's something that, um, that I feel like is always coming up, and you know, you talk to people, and you hear from them, and you hear about judgment, and people judge them for this or that or for actions or for who they used to be and I feel like that's a big problem that we have in our country right now we want to take a we just want to sit and judge people we want to judge people from our side and say oh well that like you, you go to Walmart and somebody walks in covered in tattoos and you think oh they're not a good person because they're covered in tattoos you don't know that person you don't know their story you don't know why they have those tattoos you can't make an a, a judgment on somebody on first glance and think something like that and the, the issue that I have most of all is judgment in the church um, the one place where there should be no judgment sometimes it seems like there's the most judgment now I'm not speaking from experience from my personal church um, I feel truly blessed with the church that I go to uh, my pastor he preaches on this subject a whole lot I think that's what keeps it in my head a lot is that he talks about how he doesn't care who comes into the church he wants anybody and anyone who will come to church to come to our church because he wants them to find Jesus and to build a relationship with Jesus so that they will be able to go to heaven and have a, just the life that we live and the life that we know so but I have heard from other churches and I've seen I've talked to other people who have experienced judgment in the church and to me that's probably the worst place that that judgment could be found you know like if you get judged when you walk into Walmart because you part your hair a different way than somebody else all right but that's just the world you know the world is going to judge but as a Christian we're supposed to view ourselves as in the world but not of the world when you walk into a church there should be no judgment by anybody now we all we all have a, a conscious or maybe like an unconscious judging of people to where like you think something about somebody but you can't let that judgment rule your actions like you would say oh look she's wearing a, a, a weird dress or something you know that is still a judgment you've made but just because she's wearing a weird dress don't judge her to the point where you think that she's weird and you don't want to go talk to her you know I just I couldn't really think of anything off the top of my head but like if somebody came into the church and sat down next to me and were covered in tattoos I'm not gonna think oh man I can't talk to them and like scoot a little bit away from them no that's not what we're at church for. If you're a Christian and, you, and you're and you at church, you should say, hey, how are you doing? Or, um, is this your first time here? Have you been here before? And then go from there. You know, you should build that relationship, show them what Christians are really like and what we're supposed to be like, and don't even bring up anything about their tattoos unless you notice one and you're like, oh, is that blah, blah, blah? And you can have a conversation about it, but never, ever, in church somebody comes in with tattoos and you tell them how awful it is that they have those tattoos it's happened already it's not like you can go back and fix that now they have tattoos tattoos are permanent for the most part um, I know there are ways to remove them but it is costly and it can also damage your skin so they already have tattoos they're already at that point don't don't go up to them and say I can't believe you would get those tattoos and then try to come to church that's not that's not a good way to handle things that's judgmental that's awful while you may not agree with tattoos, you have to remember that we're all sinners. All sin is created equal, as it says in the Bible. And that you just need to say, Hi, how are you doing? Do you need to know more about this stuff? Do you want a Bible study? That's what they really need. They don't need you yelling at them for tattoos. When they come to Christ, they may see that that was a bad thing. And they'll take their own action on how to fix that. Um, that's none of our business. That's between them and God. You know, that's how I want to. That's how I try to look at things the best that I can. Anything that's in anybody's past or anything that anybody's ever done or is going to do, 
that's not really between me and them. I can't, I have no, you know, there's no effect that I can give them that really makes a difference or that they're going to give me by having an issue. That's between them and Jesus. Once once they've gotten right with Jesus, in my book, you're right with me. If you've prayed and you've asked for forgiveness, you know, Jesus, you're right with Jesus. There's no reason you can't be right with me. Now, that is a hard concept, and it takes a lot of work to get to a point to where you think like that, even especially if somebody's wronged you. If somebody's wronged you, it can take even longer. And you're not an awful person if you have a hard time looking past their sin, but you have to remember what Jesus would do. What would Jesus do? What would the apostles do? What would they learn from Jesus while he was had his time on the earth? They learned that the sin is not what matters about the person. Like when you, your story isn't based on how you fell down. That is not at all what your story is about. Your story is about how you got back up. You know, we're all proud to say how we got back up. We need to help pick our brothers up and bring them back up. Um, yeah, so just stop judging at church and judging just anywhere. If you can stop it at church, you can stop judging anywhere. At work, at the store, anywhere. Um, it's hard. It's a hard thing to get over, especially in the world that we live in where you watch TV show and they're always judging people and talking behind their backs and stuff. I just feel personally that it just continues to get worse and worse in this country, in our churches, in our school system. In our school system, it's the worst. And if you want your kids to go to school, and to not judge other people and to not pick on other kids, don't do it at your house. Don't let your kids see you do that. That's the biggest thing you can, like, you are building a child, pretty much. When you're raising a child and they see you always judging people and always talking about people behind their back and always making fun of people, they're going to imitate the same thing that you did. So if you're able to refrain from that at home and in your personal life, I believe that your kids will be able to refrain from that once they get to school. Anyways, I feel like I've gone super deep into that. Um, I don't want to go like way far off the rails. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a spiritual leader. If you have some sort of problem with anything that I've said, you know, I'm sorry. Please take that up with your spiritual leader. See what they have to say about it. Um, that's not as much my place. It's just I'm sharing my opinion and my viewpoint. And that is something that I truly believe. I believe that uh, the judgmental attitude has become worse and worse in our country and that it spills over into every aspect of our lives. No matter where you are, whether you're in a place that should be safe like a church or a school, or whether you're just walking down the street or going into the grocery store to pick something up, I feel like you're always going to encounter judgment. But anyways, more happy stuff. The weather's still great. We're still going to have a great day. It is Wednesday, so be sure to visit a church this afternoon. And if you didn't, if you're seeing this video later, whatever day is closer, Wednesday or Sunday, be sure to hit up a church. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you've got any thoughts you want to share with me, please put them in the comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to stay up with more content. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and God bless.